everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have got a Halloween makeup look for you if you couldn't already guess. I also have a mask that I put on at the end um, just as kind of an extra, something different, a little bit of a twist on the usual cat makeup for Halloween. I had to do something that was quite easy and fun and not too scary because if I'm honest, I'm a really big wuss and things like blood and scary things really do frighten me. Get prepared because in the next three seconds you're going to see my very naked face. Three, two, one. I've already got my hair back just so that it's not in my face while I'm doing my makeup. I'm going to do my eyes first today because I'm using quite dark eyeshadows and I don't want them to fall on my cheeks here where I'm going to be applying foundation. And I'm first going to take the MAC Paint Pot in Groundwork. This is very similar to one of the Maybelline colour tattoos. Everything in this look, if I'm using something that's high end, there is always something out there that is perfect from the drugstore as well. So don't be put off by that. So I'm just putting that all over the lid, just as a base, and I'm going to take it quite high up because I'm not just applying eyeshadow on my eyelid, you obviously blend it up higher, so I'm taking it up just a little bit further as well. Today I'm going to be using the Na Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette, which I haven't used yet at all. I'm going to start, I think, by taking the shade Dagger, which is this very deep blue colour. A very small fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend that out. Then all over the eyelid I'm going to take the shade Armour which is a really shimmery, almost khaki silver colour and I'm going to take that on a flat brush and just pack that onto the lid. And I'm taking a clean fluffy brush just to blend that all out. And then going back in with the blue colour that I used first on the fluffy brush and taking that back in the crease. I'm then going to take a mixture of the purple and the black eyeshadow and just focus that in the outer corner in almost a V shape just to smoke that up a little bit and darken up the area. Blend it out into a V shape. Obviously we want that kind of feline shape to the eye so we're going to try and create that with the eyeshadow before we go in with liner. Then I'm going to take a white and just straighten out the edges and I'm literally going to define that into a straight line. I'm going to leave the eyes there for a little while and move on to face. So I've cleaned up underneath. I'm going for a foundation that's a little bit lighter in colour than I usually would. Just because obviously it's Halloween and I really want the black that I'm going to use to really stand out. So if you go for something that looks a little bit more ghoulish, you're probably going to get the, a better effect. So I'm just using my Bourjois Healthy Mix in the shade 52 today. Try and go for something that's a little bit more long lasting, maybe something of a bit more high coverage so that you know that it's going to last and it's going to endure the rest of the makeup that you're applying on top of it. Rather than combing my eyebrows this way like I usually would, I'm going to comb them up. Now they really need doing at the moment, so you could kind of say that that's even better for this look. Um, obviously cats don't get their eyebrows plucked, so yes they do look crazy but it's Halloween and you're allowed. I'm then going to take a brow gel and just set them in place. I'm just using my L'Oreal one today and I'm just brushing them up. I'm going to take black magnet shade that we used on the eye and really emphasize my arch. I'm now going to go underneath the eyes and just conceal underneath there. I'm going to take the silvery grey eyeshadow that I used on top of my lid underneath. I'm 
Now we're going to go in with our black liquid liner and I'm using the L'Oreal Super Liner today and I'm going to create a very slight line I'm going to follow that line where the eyeshadow was and join the two up together to create a flick I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm just going to put that all over my face because I really want this makeup to stay in place. I'm going to use the Real Techniques Cheek Brush and I'm going to use my NARS Laguna Bronzer and also a tiny little bit of that black eyeshadow that I used. Just don't be afraid to kind of mix colours and play them up because at the end of the day Halloween's the one night you could go out and even if you think you've done it horribly people will think that that's how it's supposed to look. I'm using a new mascara by L'Oreal today and it's the Feline Mascara which seems kind of relevant seems as we're going for a cat look but I'm not going to apply any false lashes because that will just they'll just interfere with the mask and I'm applying that on the bottom lashes as well. just taking a black eyeliner because I really want it to be defined. Just make sure you go right into the inner corner. Now for the fun part, we're going to create a cat nose and also do some whiskers. So I'm taking my black liner again and I'm just going to fill in this part of my nose. This feels so strange right now. So I think that looks pretty even. So that's the nose done. I'm now going to do the little middle bit and then the spots and the whiskers. Do I look like a cat yet? Now time to kind of pull it all together. I'm going in with the MAC lip liner in Night Moth. And then from Asda I bought a one of their Halloween makeup kits which literally cost like a pound and it got it's got some great things in it. I'm just going to take the black lipstick in that kit and just go over my lip liner. I'm going to take my foundation brush and just blot out my bottom lip. Now I'm going to let my hair down and I'm not going to do anything crazy with my hair. I just want it to look full on wacky. So I want it to be literally like bump. I'm going to quickly brush it out. I like mine to have a little bit of a wave in it even when it's going to be crazy. I dry shampoo, this is the Batiste one and I'm just gonna spray some of that in my roots just really work that in. Now I'm going to apply some texturizing spray. So now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to just pull my hair back. I've got a pair of black glittery cat's ears which I bought from Topshop which were £7.50 and these, this is obviously a headband and I'm just going to push my hair back 
like that and then pull it out to the front so it's kind of almost bouffant. I just think it looks really glamorous doing it this way and having like full on big hair. To then finish that off I'm going to put on a black mask just to kind of give it a little twist to do something different but also to show you something else that is available on the high street that you could implement into your Halloween fancy dress costume. And that's the finished look. Just kind of like a different twist on a cat makeup look for Halloween. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. This mask by the way was £7 from H&M. I hope you really enjoyed this video and it's given you some idea of what to do for Halloween. I, what I love most about this look is that you can wear the mask and kind of go you look really different but then obviously you can take it off and you've still got really pretty makeup on. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye!